Do you think mommy has too much makeup? Do you think a lot of people have too much makeup? What do you think? I think your eyeshadow looks really good today. Mm-hmm. I do. Hey everybody, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Hubby Organizing, organizing for real life. Today is going to be a continuation of my Use It or Lose It series. The last video we did was uh, 10 things in your closet you can get rid of today. You can watch that video up above there if you're interested in that. I'll also link it down below. You can watch that after this one. But we're, today we're going to talk about makeup. Now I've been watching YouTube since 2013 and I watched uh, mostly beauty videos and I really, really liked them. I really thought like doing my makeup became really fun when you're like doing it with someone else. You know, you were like, they were telling you what brush to buy, they were telling you what lipstick to buy, they were telling you when things were on sale, and I love watching a good beauty guru. And the world is so great. In 2017, you can make your entire living off of being a YouTube beauty guru. That is super cool. Beauty gurus are sent a ton of makeup as for press purposes. They're sent boxes of full collections of makeup. They'll be sent like every shade of lipstick that's in the in the whole line and they'll just be sent that for free and they unbox it on camera and they unbox it on Snapchat and people just eat it up. And then came the makeup collection videos. You know which ones I'm talking about. If I just type into YouTube makeup collection 2017, guess how many results I get? Just just guess, almost 43 million. Million! We're not talking about like all of YouTube. We're making it small. We're talking about just 2017. Million videos that just have a makeup collection. And you know what? I love watching them. I do. I love watching them. It's so entertaining to see people go through and thumb through and you can see what they have and maybe that's because we're all nosy by nature, but I love watching them. So first came the haul videos, then came the makeup collection videos. You know what the big thing is now? Declutter videos! And you know what? We love watching this too. We love watching people thumb through the makeup and you know try to decide what to give and what to keep and what to like throw in the trash because it's no longer good anymore. And that is the bottom line. Makeup expires! Again, disclaimer, I love the YouTube beauty space. I love it, love it, love it. I watch a ton of these decluttering videos and I love them, especially the professional organizer in me loves these videos. I love watching people declutter. However, after watching a few of these videos, I have come to some conclusions. It seems as though there's a few things that we should either stop buying or just use them. There's a lot of things that just don't get used. So here are sort of five categories of things that I think you either need to use it or lose it. Or just stop buying them. Stop, don't buy them. And a disclaimer, of course, if you want to buy these things, go ahead, knock yourself out. It's your business. It's your money. But also keep in mind that you have one face. Unless you have two faces. In that case, you should probably get a YouTube channel. If you have one face and you possibly can't use all this makeup and you need to like slow down the buying, this is the video for you. Limited edition. It's limited edition! Limited edition. It's never coming back. It's only gonna be around for like 48 hours and then you'll never be able to find it again. Limited edition. Limited edition items are such a Cosmetic companies have you wrapped around their little finger with limited edition marketing. That does include like Christmas things, holiday collections, all that stuff. It's all the limited edition stuff. And I'm gonna make that quote, limited edition, because half the time these things aren't even limited edition. They just end up being restocked and you get a chance to like get hyped up and buy it all again. Often also, these limited edition items are made in a factory and manufacturing process is not the same as their permanent line items, so they may be even lesser in quality than things you can buy all the time. According to NBA Knowledge Base, a limited edition marketing strategy carries a sense of immediacy and exclusivity as the products would only be available for a short time and or in limited numbers. Thus, creating a limited edition product can give your product Prestige. Prestige. What else has prestige? 
like a trophy. So I find what in watching a lot of these decluttering videos that the ladies are, um, or gentlemen, <laughs> are going through their pieces and like they're like, oh, I have this highlighter from Estee Lauder is limited edition, but they never use it. Girl, why aren't you using that? You've essentially paid for a makeup trophy. Do you want a makeup trophy? No. If your makeup is a trophy, that's totally fine. If you're collecting makeup, that's totally fine. That is your business. But do you need to keep it with the rest of your makeup that you're actually using? No, because that's a trophy and you want it to stay pristine. Makeup gets all powdery and gets all over the place. And put it on a shelf. Keep it in a special like trophy makeup box. Just, I mean, just be real about what it is. It's a trophy. You're not using it. Either use it or lose it. And use it fast because once again, Makeup expires! And that's all makeup. Mm -hmm. Not just mascara and like cream products and lipsticks, like all makeup expires! YouTuber and celebrity collaborations are pretty cool. I mean, here's this person that you've been watching and they may have like 7 million subscribers or like 432,000 subscribers and they made a palette with a major a makeup company and that is amazing that's awesome of course you want to support them of course you want to like give them a little bit of your hard-earned dollars but before you do that ask yourself these questions if this person's name were not attached to this palette would I still buy this and if the answer is no don't buy it you can support your youtuber any way you'd like you can watch their videos you can buy some of their merch you can watch their ads all the way through you can even click on you know whatever affiliate links that they provide down below. There's a lot of ways in supporting your YouTuber. And I don't really think celebrities need to be like supported. Sorry. And sometimes the YouTuber that collaborated with the company gets screwed over. Think about that. No tea, no shade. If you bought it, great. If you love it, great. Use it, use it up. Make it your goal to use it up. That really shows the YouTuber that you love them. And because once again, for like the third time, makeup expires. Expensive stuff. We we're talking about YSL, By Terry, Chanel, <laughs> all these prestige, really expensive brands. Now, I gotta tell you, I got some expensive stuff in my collection. This, this, this powder. This by Terry powder, this costs like 60 bucks. But you know what? I use this. I'm gonna use it up. And after that, I'm gonna buy another one. If you got expensive stuff, use the heck out of it. Make it your goal to get to the bottom of whatever that product. Make your goal to use that entire lipstick. Don't be afraid to use it just because you paid a lot of money for it. In fact, you should use those things way more than everything you got a deal on. Now this one is completely polarizing because I know some girls and some guys love cream products. They love their cream blushes and their cream eyeshadows and cream whatever. But you know what, in watching a lot of these decluttering videos, most people don't use them. They're like, oh girl, I'll use cream products. Ew, it's a cream though. Oh, I just, I just don't use cream products. I don't, I don't like this. Girl, then don't buy it. Stop buying these products when you think you won't use them. And you know yourself. You know if you're a cream person or not. You know there's like two kinds of people in the world. It's like cream product people and like powder people. If you're a powder person and you buy a cream product, you probably won't use the cream product. And it's probably going to end up in a decluttering video. And you're going to give it to a friend who's probably not a cream product person either. And he's going to give that to a friend. And by the time they get to like whoever really wants it, it's like, it smells like funky and it's gross. Are you a cream product person? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put a poll. Are you a cream product person? Yes or no? Let me know. And let, or leave a comment down below. Either the poll or a comment. I wanna know. Are you a cream product person? Cute packaging and single shadows and deals. You know, sometimes you're in the drugstore and you see something like you're like, buy three, get one free of like Revlon mascaras and they're only like $30. And you end up spending like $30 and then you have all these mascaras that you hate and you don't use. Single shadows. I know a lot of people who like don't use single shadows. They like reach for the palettes. Like we girls, we, we love our palettes. This palette like is amazing. This palette is like life right now. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. 
Am I gonna reach for a single shadow when I have this? No. Maybe like once in a blue moon I might need a single shadow and if you do, if you're a single shadow lover, this doesn't apply to you. But girls and boys, you know who I'm talking about. You're either a palette person or a single shadow person. You might do a Z palette thing every now and again. You are probably not gonna use this single shadow so it'll probably sit and rot. So by the time they get to the person who really wants them, they're expired! And cute packaging. I know we all wanna fall for the cute packaging. Look at the clover palette that's coming out from, from Too Faced. How cute is that, right? Let's look at the colors. Yeah. Are, is that, how, are you gonna use these colors? But that packaging though. No, seriously, let's talk. Ser cute packaging, I mean, Too Faced got it all over cute packaging. And, and, and I'm not hating on Too Faced. I love that chocolate bar palette. I love that chocolate bar semi-sweet palette or whatever they got going on. But this, this, this is just cute packaging. Don't fall for this. Look at it and pretend like there's no clover there. And I even want it because clover, clover is my dog. That's clover over there. So the long and short of it is, if you have makeup in your collection that's just sitting there, either use it or lose it. Give it to a friend, give it to someone who might really want it, and uh, it'll make you feel so much better about your collection. Do you wanna use everything in your collection because you love it so much? And again, for the last time, you wanna use everything in your collection because, one more time, say it, let's say it together, let's say it together. Makeup expires! <laughs> like this video if you like it. Give me a thumbs up, that helps me out a lot. If you're not part of the Hobby Organizing family, please subscribe. I give organizing tips and vlogs every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on the channel. And don't forget to press that little bell button because YouTube is broken and doesn't notify you every time I upload a video. I hope this video inspires you to either use what's in your collection that's just sitting there collecting dust or stop buying it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Clover, you're making so much noise with your boy stick, but you love it, right? Do you even know what that's made out of? You don't want to know. I don't want to spoil your fun.